Hi everyone, this is Marcia from Our Vintage Store. Ready for another bag? This is bag number 10. So, after this we only have four more bags from the Value Village Hall. But in between, I tell you, this is, um, this is not the only thing that I've been getting since, um, I've been out of town. Um, actually one, we went to one thrift store before we bought these. And then like in between doing the videos on these, I have been doing some other thrifting with uh, family and friends and I have some finds that I will make videos on and share them as well. And not only have I been getting um, some things from um, thrifting, from thrift stores, um, there have been a couple people that have given me some stuff. So I want to share those with you too. So for now, let's open this bag. Oh, well, that one, well, what do you know, that one just came open. <laughs> Oh, but we got it double bagged, so let's cut that one. Get rid of the scissors. And see what we've got. We have some of those pop beads. But I used to call them. I have some in yellow. So now we have these. Um, some more. I think I have some with this pattern. Um, metal. Bangle bracelet. Here we have. It's got some wear on it. And this is missing some stuff. It's missing a pearl. So, not the best quality. They wanted a dollar ninety-nine for it, but it is—it's really messed up in spots. So, anyway, got that. This is nice. I like this. They wanted three ninety-nine. Wow, for this alone. Um. I do not see a name, but this looks like pieces that would be, um, that they had in maybe late 70s to mid 80s, and this style, so it's nice. Um, this is very pretty. This is, uh, this is not just that, um, like, um, that gold leafing, this it's not heavy, but um, but it's not real flimsy, lightweight either. So that's nice, and it's a pendant. And wow, they wanted three ninety nine for this. It's a stretch bracelet, but it has the um, the glass beads. I'm sorry, doesn't that look like a face to you? <laughs> it's look like the, that looks like a face. They look like faces to me. But anyway, that's kind of cute. And we have a rhinestone band. <gasps> Too big for me. Oh, this is cute. This is a little crown with um, rhinestones in it. It's not magnetic. Could be brass. Cute. Got that. Oh, here's another stretchy bracelet with some glass beads. And some of that Oh, gold stone, I think it's called. It has uh, these brown beads that have like the gold flecks in it. Gold stone. Anyway. There, there. Not bad. And here we 
have a beaded black and blue. I think these beads are black, um, but it looks like a handmade piece with a toggle clasp. That. And, well, this is a newer piece, at least um, because of the clasp, 90s maybe. I know the, the various forms of the lobster claw clasp have been around for a long time, but this particular version, I guess, of the lobster claw clasp, I think is um, early 90s, but I may be mistaken if anyone knows differently. Um, I'm always open to um, information, but anyway, this is a newer piece, I think, made to look like an older piece, but um, has some shine to it. Very interesting. And here is a football bracelet and it says Ravens. So that's the um, Baltimore Ravens. And they have some purple beads on there. Black and purple is their colors. Although I do not follow sports, so. Um. I just happen to know that one. So, And here is a bracelet. It says Jenna. And here are here's the tack back pens or tie tack pens or whatever. They all, these all seem to be this, a similar my magnet is caught up in stuff. Well, this one looks like wings, and it has a dollar sign on it. As is this one. It's just different color, so it has a dollar sign. And, yeah, okay, they're all the same. Just too small, too big. Don't know what it's about, but it looks like wings with a dollar sign. Does that mean your money's flying away? <laughs> I hope not. Um, you know what? I had, this is an orange, that rubber style bracelet. I don't remember what color it was. I don't know if it was pink or what, but I have one. Another one in a different color from another bag. So have that, and okay, I guess this is meant to be a double. They are not coming apart, so, and they don't stretch very well, but I guess that's what it's supposed to look like. Okay. This is missing one rhinestone. <clears throat> Excuse me, one rhinestone. Well, it is not magnetic, but it is not sterling, I can tell you that. And here we have This is very tiny. I can only think it's for a child. A little bracelet and ring combo. Okie doke. This is pretty. Oh. It's, um,. This is very pretty. It's very stretched out. I, and I'm not even going to put it on all the way in case it breaks. These things would fly everywhere. <laughs> but um, this is very nice. And it does have a hang tag on it. So let's see what it says. Okay. 
Cookie Lee. So this is a Cookie Lee piece. That is very pretty. I will restring that because that is nice. I like that. And we have a piece of something. It's a branch and it's um, four leaf clover and a charm and a branch. And more bangles. Uh, oh! <laughs> this one lights up. That's cool. It's neat. Okay, got that. And we have some purple beads. Yes. Flintstones. That's what that reminds me of. They're so big. So. And oh, this is a clamper. Not bad. Very um, black and cream, or like off-white. But this shape has a better feel on the wrist than the round ones. The round ones always just seem like they're in the way. But uh, another one of these. I know I got a bunch of these. I think it was first or second bag that I opened. So one of those, and another one of the blue ones. Uh, the gold with the blues. And here we have some earrings with the um, silver, slightly magnet silver. Hmm. Hold on. I do see. Well, I didn't know about these. But these ear wires are 925. So these little balls might be 925 as well. Not these, but oh, yeah, well, they're part of the ear wire, of course they'd be. So we've got some silver and we've got a pair. So that's always good. Another one of those, two more of those winged dollar signs. Oh, this is pretty. That shell inlay. It's pretty pink. Don't see any markings, but it's pretty. And this is just, boy, these look like buttons. Oh, and it's not, uh, I was good, starting to pull it. I'm glad I didn't because it is not a stretch bracelet. It is a lobster claw clasp. Again, my compartment for bangles or, and bracelets is filling up. And here we have one, um, but these are wooden beads. And here's another bangle with some wire wrapped beads in a nice sapphire blue color. And this, this is pretty, I like these beads. I think that these are just acrylic beads, but they are a pretty color. These are not, though. I think these are glass beads. They feel more like glass beads, but anyway, that's a pretty green. So we got that, and we oh, and we have a gray bangle bracelet. Pretty shade of gray. And we have a pink. This one's rather small. So it's hot pink. Here we have, I don't know, a star. Some embellishment. And here we have a ring. What the 
material is, but it's like it has little spikes. And here we have a tech pen, lapel pen. It looks like roses, like a wreath of roses. And we have, oh my, this is different. We have the musical note, but this one has a skull at the bottom. Okay, and here, I know I've gotten one like this before. Same color and everything, so one of those and we have another pair of earrings this has the flattened part that you normally think of for the sterling silver and this one does have this is a gold color and it does have a mark on it okay this has a mark on it but I'll look at it off camera and um, and let you know what it says. They're cute. They're nice, delicate. Okay, got a lot in here, so we need to keep going. Here is another bangle. This does not open. Yeah, it looks like it's a brass, and it has inlay of. Hmm. Something it almost looks like bone. I'm not sure though. But anyway, we've got that. And we have this necklace. And I like this, but it is this is weighty, but whatever was on here, on the clasp, it is, it is gone, but that's, it's interesting. There's another bangle, which is, um, Ribbon wrapped with the rhinestones. Here is another plastic stretchy beaded bracelet. And here is Tinkerbell. So I don't know, is that a Disney? It is. It says Disney. And all the rhinestones are there, so that is a definite plus. Very nice. And this is weird. This looks like it's silver on one side and gold on the other. So I don't know if that was repaired or the finish came off. Um, or if it came like that. I don't know. And here is probably an anklet. This is much larger than a bracelet. So, there you go. An anklet one there. And we have Evil Eye Stretch Bracelet. Oh. Oh, wow, this is nice. I am... This is Noah's Ark. It has um, elephants and horses and one of the cats, probably tiger and rhinoceros, rhinoceri, <laughs> rhinoceros, uh, oxen, it looks like that might be oxen. And then this is zebra. Huh. Um, it might have a name on it. Just uh, 
No, I don't see a name, but it looked like there was something here. It's just darkened, but very interesting. Maybe something on the clasp. Nah, I don't think so. Okay, but anyway, that's nice. And we have some more of these beads. I've gotten these in other... The same style and color in other bags. So, strand of that. And here we have... Um, a two-tone, very lightweight, and there is a tag, I'm thinking it's probably Claire's or something like that. Do I, should I even take the time? Maybe Avon. Yes, this is Avon, but you know, No, this is not up to Avon standards. I mean, I know Avon doesn't have the best um, jewelry, but it is usually a little more substantial than this. But, I mean, it looks nice. I mean, it's it's a nice-looking piece, but it's very lightweight. But anyway, that's that. And here's another stretchy bracelet, brown and black. Here's another stretchy bracelet in wood carved beads carved wood beads <laughs> well, here's another one of those stars and this one has all the rhinestones so don't know don't know what that was for and here we have another bracelet this one is multi strand don't see any marks It has a little pull, but anyway, have that. Didn't I just have one of these? I sure did. I thought maybe I'd missed it, so we've got two of these. One a little smaller than the other. Wow. Wow, now that's a bangle. Oh my goodness. And that's wooden. I guess if you could get it on, you could wear it. Here is, okay, this is a stretchy, this is cold, this could be a Venturine. This has the look of uh, a Venturine. I love that green. Okay, well that's nice. And here is, uh, this is cool to the touch too. It has the look of turquoise, but I don't know. Anyway, it's cute. Here's another stretchy bracelet with alternating crystals and round beads. And here is a... Why did they do this? This stuff doesn't come off good. Um, it says teach. I don't know if there's anything under here, but... Okay, no, there isn't, and it came off pretty well on the front anyway. Okay, teach. Here's another one of those flying money pens. Oh, wow, this is an earring, people. swear to it but everything looks like it's there have to look at it closer but um, that's a little heavy but anyway one of those here is this is not oh magnetic I'm glad I didn't pull hard on that um, I like the, the beads oops the crystals on that, here's another wooden carved 
And these, I don't think these are be uh, wooden. These beads are wooden, but these are. And I got a nickel. <laughs> it's not jewelry, but I'll take it. <laughs> um, here is a charm. Oh, another one of those DI charm bracelets. This one has... Um, Oh my goodness, I don't know what that is. It looks like a, a pig. There's the DI. And this looks like a, oh, a magic carpet. Looks like a flying carpet. And this is a fish. Hmm. I don't think some of these are supposed to be with the DI. And this is, oh, is this silver? No, I think this is gold tone. Yeah, this is a gold tone. The other ones I have are silver tone. So I've got that. And this is cute. This is... Oh, this has something on the back of it, but it's a, a music note. And what is that? Is that the, the quarter note? I don't know. It's it's a new music note, and it has the uh, piano keys and uh, like sheet music and um, another note. This has something on the back of it. Let me see what it says. S F J, and then it has some numbers down this center section here. It has numbers. So I uh, don't know, but it's interesting. And here we have a. Another one of those um, string earrings. Oh my goodness. Well, we know this isn't sterling. i got to be careful where I lay that. Um, oh, well, this is very pretty. And that's almost that screws off I think and that looks like an orchid and there is a mark oh Monet had it upside down this is Monet no wonder I like it made very well nice I like that okay here's another charm bracelet The DI charm bracelet. This one has a pineapple and a pair of probably sunglasses. And this one is a monkey. Another monkey. And this is shopping. Looks like a little shopping bag. So there you go. Again. Um, Gold tone. Where'd I put that other one? Right there. Uh, we have a match to that. Oh. And I say oh because it's missing a stone. But anyway. Wow. Those are big. Here is a stretchy bracelet with a charm that says love. Where is that charm? Whoop, never mind. <laughs> it is a magnetic. Wow, all bracelets. Um, here we have a necklace with a big rhinestone heart. This is interesting. This is uh, a bracelet with some ch shell and wooden pieces along with the beads. Those. No, I was going to say they look like um, pink quartz, but um, rose quartz, but they aren't. Anyway, it's not bad. And here we have a 
castle necklace with a pink stone. I think it's plastic. And it's got a little knot in it, but it has a lobster claw clasp, so it's a much newer piece. And we have a older um, herringbone style bracelet, and I think it says Korea. Oh, and my hands are getting so dirty, my fingers. Oh, this is pretty. Heart with some rhinestones. It's just a pendant, but nice. And this. It came with a blouse, I think. But it looks like it's missing a center piece. Well, almost done. We have much more here. We dump it all out. Um, it's a nice black and gold bracelet. C C ring clasp. Here we have a green. Oh, wow. Well, it looks green on that side and blue on that side. But anyway, it's a uh, silver tone, lightweight, lobster claw clasp. Yeah. Well, I should have known it was magnetic. Um, anyway, we've got that necklace. And this, oh, this is a watch. Wow. That's nice. I like that. And it is Caceres. It's K E S S A R I S. Caceres. So there you go. Bracelet and watch. It's not working though. It's got a mother of pearl face, but it needs it needs a battery. It goes like this. It needs a battery. And we have a charm bracelet with a charm that says, Happy Birthday! <laughs> so, any of you that are celebrating a birthday today, Happy Birthday! And here we have some, just some cheap um, plastic beads. Uh, another one of those Eternity Band rings. Um... I look at these because my first instinct is oh, that's cheap, but I actually found one of these that were nine two five. Um, so I don't discredit them immediately. As I don't see a mark on this, but um, well, this is interesting. It's a little ring. It looks like it's um probably silver plated but it has that copper base and it's pretty worn but interesting and this oh this is pretty wow this looks like it's half of a set it's got that little chevron with the, with the rhinestones don't see any markings right off, but that is cute. I like that. I'll keep that on. And this one, again, this is showing a lot of wear. Don't see any markings, but it's purple, pretty purple stone. And it's the cocktail style ring with the the single the center stone and the the other stones that go around it but okay and here we have a pink hoop earring and here we have they want it 2.99 get it out of my way because i can't see the clasp here's the clasp 
and the clasp is marked but this has looks like different color shell green pink and blue but I do see a mark on the clasp oh SJ whoever SJ is but that's pretty I like that and I have a few more pieces we have this rhinestone chandelier type earring one of those we have a strand of purple purple beads I'm feeling because they feel a little chilly a little on the cool side but anyway I'm not sure if they're a natural stone but they do feel they do feel cool either stone or glass and oh too bad missing two stones there oh well I didn't see any loose stones in this bag so um, maybe in one of the other bags but that would have been nice and this This, and if I could figure out how to open it, I think is one of those um, purse holders. Somehow you, maybe like that, you attach it to the table, or maybe the table like this, and this holds your purse. But uh, it's got a lot of bling, and it's got some scratches on the front, but uh, I always wanted one of these. And uh, never got around to getting one, so I don't know. I might try taking it, throwing it in my purse. It's always nice to have. Well, anyway, bag 10, gone. <laughs> so um, that's going to do it. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.